Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and now this video is all about the first shift you gotta make. So the first one is that probably your business strategy is wrong. You don't have the right business strategy. Let's get to it to understand exactly what that means. So guys, if you look at the stats out there, don't listen to me. Go and look at the stats out there. Most businesses fail in their first five and then 10 years. Most businesses, 95 plus percent fail in the first five years and then most of them, the 95% that left after the five years, they fail in their first 10 years. Don't listen to me, go and look at those stats out there. And the main reason for that, again, those are, there are a few shifts you gotta make in order to not be one of those guys, but the first thing is that you have the wrong business strategy. Now, what exactly that means? It starts with your vision. You have the wrong vision or you don't have a vision at all. Obviously, you don't have a plan to execute on that vision and you don't have a place or a system to track and be accountable on that vision. And then even if you have a vision, you don't have the right core values. So you're doing things in lack of integrity. You don't have full integrity or transparency or you care more about yourself than your customers or the impact you can make on others. And when you have those basic fundamentals as a wrong uh, to begin with and again we're going to expand a little bit more on each on and obviously on more things related to your business strategy when you have those fundamentals wrong i don't care what you're going to do you're not going to be able to move forward from there you i don't care what your then strategy or business development strategy and how you're going out there to bring in clients or buy businesses or basically manage your cash flow and operations and financials in your business unless you have the right fundamentals the right business strategy to begin with there's no way that you're going to survive and again i don't care if you want an existing six or seven figure business or even eight figure business if you're only existing for less than 10 years you're basically still a startup and your chances of failing are very very high and unless you're gonna basically make sure that those fundamentals are right to begin with and you're gonna change them in your existing business, there's no way that you'll take yourself to the next level and there's no way that you'll transition from an owner, employee, operator, manager to an owner, manager, or sorry, to an owner or a wealth builder or a visionary or an investor inside your business. There's just no chance that you'll do that. Now to expand on that, part of that and having a vision is that people just can't stay focused. They don't have a focus that they're staying on the same path for a while. They don't have, they don't start with the right good product or maybe they just have too many ideas. And especially for someone who can relate to those videos, who is a visionary, you have tons of ideas, unless you're able to focus at least for a specific period of time on one product, on one target market, on one sector and industry, there's just no chance that you'll be successful because you're always gonna think that the grass is always greener on the other side. There's only always a shiny object out there. And unless you have a focus to begin with and you know and have a systems to, I guess, not just have that focus, but make sure that everyone around you in your team or in your advisory team is on that same vision and focus. There's just no way for you to fully go together and achieve your, your vision and goal. And again, maybe you're looking at it and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm good with the mindset, guys. I'm good. I'm good with all the vision stuff and the focus stuff. Don't, don't worry about that. I don't have a problem with my beliefs, for example. And I can tell you that from first time experience, again, with me and with everyone that I talk to, with entrepreneurs and business owners out there, your main problem is your beliefs and your internal world. I don't care where you are in your life. It all comes down to your inside world. You, basically, your life in business is a full 100% reflection on your life inside. Your business is basically just a mirror of yourself. If you have problems with your business, there are probably similar problems inside you that started probably when you were very young, things that probably weren't in your, I guess, um, not responsibility, but just weren't, you, you, weren't be able, were, you weren't able to affect that. And unless you're making the shifts right now to make sure that your internal world is first of all very clear and focused on one simple path, and systems, it's gonna be really hard to make it to the 5% to make it in business in their first 10 years. And you're probably gonna end up being one of the 95% uh, of owners out there who basically fail in their first 10 years. And again, I don't care where you are in your path. If you never started a business yet, or you didn't buy a business yet, or you have an existing six or seven or even eight figure business, I can tell you I saw firsthand and I had businesses that failed that were already at a high seven figure and just I had to liquidate and shut it down because I didn't have those fundamentals. So this is the first shift guys, you gotta have the right business strategy. The next shift is all about your business development. It's all about 
building a structure and a system to not just operate organically inside your business with doing more sales and marketing and operations and financials and have full like legit process and systems to not just execute on your vision but have a process to keep everyone in your team accountable and also yourself but also to grow by acquisitions and build a structure to go out there and while you're going and hustle one client at a time to build a structure to go out there and grow one business at a time to go out there and do joint ventures and buy other companies in your sectors who are complementary business to yours or are basically competitors to yours, or if it's just your first deal and you don't own a business, you just had businesses in the past, how to go out there and start your journey as an entrepreneur by buying an existing profitable established business with an existing management team in place. Ideally, they have their processes and systems, but unless you understand what process and systems you want inside your business, you won't be able to recognize it when you go out there and look to buy a business. So you gotta have instead first of all like we said this is the first shift you're gonna have the right business strategy which include the vision the focus and all the internal beliefs and mindset to go and, and do that and then in the next shift we're going to talk all about your business development strategy both organically and by acquisition so i'm looking forward to share with you those next steps